Alrighty. Hello. We're still in quarantine, all three of us. Uh, Ethan. Hello, say. Ethan. There he is. <laughs> I don't think he's recording right now. Connecticut. Hello, guys. Welcome to Extended Triangle, where today we'll be ranking uh, all of the U.S. state flags and their territories, and the American flag. Every but single one of them. And there's a pretty low standard here, so we do apologize when we inevitably rip into your state flag. Because all of them are bad. I but don't think, like, when they made these flags, anybody consulted anybody who's involved in flag no. making. And before we start tearing into these flags, we're gonna go over like the five principles of vexillology. From, uh, you can find this on uh, the main website too. It's just keep it simple. So simple, drawn from memory, meaningful symbolism, images, colors, patterns, relate to what it symbolizes. Don't use more than two or three basic colors. No lettering or seals. Be distinctive be related. Those are the ones we'll be following. North American Vexillological North American Vexillological, just not, not, not just national. national. Anyhow, so the first thing you've put on there in the F tier is New Jersey. What is with that mustard yellow? Why? So there is writing on the bottom. Oh, the state motto, I think. I'm sure there's meaning behind this, but it's just too complicated and messy. It looks like somebody took five minutes to draw those symbolings in the middle. Let's proceed with uh, some more state flags that we're gonna put in the F tier. Illinois, grab okay. Illinois out of there. There's Illinois. Oh, I see it. It says Illinois right on the bottom, which is a problem. Yeah, it has there it is. Illinois I'm just right blind. on the bottom. <laughs> Illinois. Look at that. So you've got an eagle, <laughs> poorly drawn. You've got a lake. You've got a sunrise in the background. White background. Now, a white background isn't an issue, except for when you've drawn a picture. Cram so much into it. It's like they're trying to break rules with this one. We've got a state, sovereignty, national, and union written across, which the eagle's holding. Oh, and the rock has writing on it. Speaking of <laughs> states where we definitely know what state it is when we look at this wisconsin wisconsin my favorite state wisconsin 1848 again it's got a seal in the middle with so much detail on it that i can't even make out on my computer screen i have no idea what it's looking at all i can tell is that there's like a navy blue background wisconsin some people are gonna say well you're ignorant as to where the flags come from you should be able to express these kind of things simply not just by slapping Your symbolism every should be direct one from a little bit of outside knowledge should be able to identify what you're trying to show it's not just like slapping every single thing that ever happened in your state onto your flag the ontario flag's not very good that's where we're from it's really by not. the way at least we haven't slapped like uh confederation on it and the date that that, that was happened we haven't slapped like uh ethan or the ethan, canadian flag it doesn't have like flq crisis 1970 slapped that on, was like, an image an image for everything that was ethan, a can ethan, canada confederation was in pei I'm aware of where they signed the document, <laughs> but it's important for every province that participated, no? I mean, fair. We will let's, do a let's Canadian move on. flag ranking. This is my least favorite flag, actually. Delaware. First off, we have this diamond, which normally actually is a decent flag design on its own. Color scheme makes me want to vomit. On oh, the they also have that they same mustard to write yellow the date in. The that like a sand that's at least a sand serif i'm sure somebody who knows a lot about that flag will know and hate you for getting it wrong what they they have a wrong opinion they have a bad opinion on a flag oh we all know which one that is the picture of george washington in the middle an incredibly yeah. detailed drawing you can see that in like an art museum like the like the painting itself like that garbage green background that my man's ate too many asparagus <laughs> The color composition is nice. Like, the colors complement each other weirdly. The green and the blue look nice to each other, but, like, the yellow is just awful. Still F tier. I suppose we never explained our rankings that we're going through. We start with we S really is the best, A, B, C, D, E, F, as you would expect them to be. Michigan's the next one on the docket. There it is. We have to pull these we're up. Blind. That, that is something that is very common with all these flags. Very forgettable. It's got Latin writing all over. It's got a moose. What does it say in Latin? I'm well, I can't just pronounce change. that. I don't speak well, Latin. Well, just my try guy. to pronounce it. It's just pronounce it like it's French. That's not gonna work. Uh, uh, don't pretend like you plain, speak Latin. <laughs> long plains and something about peninsula. I'm guaranteeing it's peninsula. 
Within that shield, there's an even more detailed drawing of someone standing on what looks like a bank and another sunrise that's just slapped Why? in the background. Why do they have so many sunrises? One nice touch I like about it, I do like that the, the, the moose, if they were just designed down a little bit more, they would look nicer. All right, next. West Virginia is what I have next. Oh, I remember this one. I don't, and that's the thing, I keep forgetting all of them. I think this is West Virginia. Because they're so forgettable. Right? I was wrong. That was the wrong one. I was wrong. There so we've is. got a wreath, we've got people in the center again, we've got a rock with, I'm sure, a significant date on it. It's on a it's, white it, background. It's so full, this is so busy. Every single spot of space is taken up, and there's so much detail in it that I can't tell what's happening. I just see the blue and the white, and it looks bad. North Dakota. Oh, the Dakotas are a shame. Neither of them sound genuinely appealing. That's just a side note. But there's North Dakota. There's no... Oh, I remember when we were ranking them, I really, really hated this one because it's just like, well, it says it's just North Dakota. Bad. bad we draw an eagle holding American shield, holding a uh, wheat and some kind of awesomes in his other foot. It's going to get really redundant really quick because so many of these flags just have the same problem. It's like nobody learned from the mistakes. South Dakota would just be the next one logically, and it's... Not much better, although we've ranked it slightly better. Look at the detail in that drawing in the middle. You will never make that out. It says so many things. It says South Dakota twice on this flag. This is hard F tier. Oh, when Kentucky's up next. I have to keep pulling up these flags in uh, Google to remind myself, but we did like spend five hours ranking all of these. Oh God, why did we do this? <laughs> Don't try to say, oh, maybe we'll give this one E tier. It says Commonwealth of Kentucky, really large letters, white in the center and like an orangish brown border. Maine would be our next one. Oh, come on, Maine. <laughs> Look how bad the moose in the center. That's what gets me. It's how bad the moose is drawn. A moose sitting on a shoreline in front of a lake before a forest, a very common geographical landscape in Maine. But show it through color, not actually drawing it. it says Maine on the bottom, the moose. I can't get over how badly drawn the moose is. I'm not sure how much of the audio just cut out, but the camera just, you know, killed right. itself. Next is Vermont. Oh, Vermont. So we're moving up uh, this sort of area. Are we talking North America or in the States? The States. Vermont. Ooh. Again, drawing is. in the middle, a cow, I guess, because you can't tell that's how poor wheat's drawn. It looks like they made this in MS Paint. Why did they do this? I do promise we will eventually compliment some of these flags, but you got wheat. There's so many F tier flags. It'll take us a while. You could probably skip ahead in this video if you really want. And Holy uh, hell. Idaho. Is this idiot? Idaho. Potato place Thanks. with a really strange shape, uh, state shape. It comes to like this big, really long, nope, skinny point the... that reaches Canada just barely. We put down the wrong flag for Idaho here because I keep forgetting what Idaho looks like because it's such a forgettable state. It has I'm a plaque within the plaque. There's a shield that shows even more mountains and what looks like There's a plaque horses. in a plaque. You know what? Just for that, there you go. <laughs> Drop it in ranking. I I feel Eek. that some uh, Latin in there. Great seal of the state of Idaho, and then state of Idaho again. So this is another. Write the name twice in case they didn't read it the first time. Utah. Oh, we're moving on to Utah. Is that next? Yeah, that is next. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You know what? We have a circle. American bald eagle and so two much literal two actual flag. American flags on this thing. Yeah, and just the word industry like what are you known for industry in utah the first thing i think of is mormons mountains and yeah uh, salt lake salt lake city montana some there of my notes is. for this one there it is behold is montana it? it's got that lake those mountains the sunshine the two <laughs> poorly drawn uh, gardening tools there isn't really much else to say about that flag it's, it's just, just bad everything we've ever complained about just on another flag a lot of these yeah. ones in F tier are just awful, and so they're them being uh, like ranked ahead of each other is more a personal preference because all of the ones in F tier are just really, really bad. We're moving on to Pennsylvania. Ooh, this one hurts. This one really hurts. The horses um, have a white shade around them, which just makes them work look worse. Is it English on the bottom or is it Latin? It's so tiny you can't even read it in a normal computer screen where I have it magnified. There it is. If you guys... I kind of forgot Nebraska for a hot second, but there you are. Nebraska. Home state of 
I can't fucking think. I don't know farms. Like, <laughs> what's Nebraska known Penny for? From, uh, the Penny from the Big Bang. Penny from that's a shell door. <laughs> there, there really is nothing interesting about Nebraska. I think of. We're insulting the flags, not the states themselves. We haven't been there. We the, can't the, say the flag was an actually... insult unto itself. Oh no! Here comes Mississippi. This one's just tragic. Mississippi enters the chat. Here it comes. Here it comes with that Confederate flag. Yeah. We're straight up just putting it here because it has a Confederate flag. Most flags are supposed to be a 5x4, except for Switzerland, the Vatican's, and one other that I can't remember off the top of my head. This flag is a 4x4. Four four. Flags within a flag aren't good. The proportions are all <laughs> off between the the blue, white, red. It's janky. And where they've slapped the Confederate flag on, now there's like a white outline along it. And then when it hits to the white section, it's gone because it's a white outline on white. The last one to fall before we get into E, e tier is Nevada. I really wanted to like this one. It's just a blue background of like a Nevada wreath. There's just so much dead space. This Almost every single one of the flags is blue. So rule of thumb, if your flag is just one color background and then just a weird seal, bad. You've done bad. Justin, we're moving on to one that I always thought belonged in F tier. In fact, it's one of my least favorite, but Will has it in the E tier for some reason. But I do like the French flag. I like the actual Okay, design. well, I, I like the French flag too. I like the Nordic crosses. <laughs> Doesn't mean I want one slapped on the Canadian flag. All right, I put it in F tier. Hey, why was Oklahoma put in E tier? It's F tier. That was another one where I was trying to get you to put it in F tier, and you were like, no, it's not that bad. And now that I look at it again, it's like, it's actually that bad. Actually, we're Huge just gonna... Huge, bold Oklahoma letters. I yeah, genuinely yeah, thank sure. you if you're watching this and you've actually gotten to this point in the video. Yeah, no, this is probably awful to listen to. <laughs> this is a long video. New Hampshire. We should have started with, like, ranking Scandinavia. We shouldn't have started with the 50 New... U.S. states. New Hampshire. That's oh, it. Oh, no. It's still freaking seal in the middle of the... Oh, my word. But it was organized. That was it. I think we're finally getting into it. So we're going to go through a lot more like bad flags, but we're starting to get into ones that have good <laughs> flags wanting out of them. Moving on to the Virgin Islands, where we have a gold eagle just splattered across the whole thing. Reef and arrows, which is the defense department symbol. The Virgin Islands were a defense base, so this kind of actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, either way. This is the first instance of not actually a state. Both of us have a soft spot for this one, for the state of Oregon. Oh, Oregon. And here's the back. It's actually double-sided right. Oregon. I think he has an edited one that's edited to I be do better. have an edited version. I didn't notice it was an edited version until afterwards. So there's yeah. supposed to be like state of Oregon on the top and there's something yeah, else. So they kept the that. colors simple, but they drew too much in the center, <laughs> wrote state of Oregon, 1859. But they have the beaver, which is very nicely designed because it's simple. It's, it's, it's a nice color scheme. Next is Arkansas. Arkansas. In D tier, actually. Our first D tier flag. First Pretty thing. damn near middle of the pack. It's it has like, a neat diamond design, a bunch of stars around. I think it's the amount of stars that was on when it became. And then Arkansas. It's simple. It's simple. Nice color scheme. They slapped Arkansas right in the center of it. Uh, Florida's next. Florida. Florida. Florida could have been good, but mm -hmm. they ruined could've it. Been. They took they had a nice cross design that sort of looks like uh, the English flag, or it looks really similar to the Alabama flag, and they shoved an incredibly complicated seal right in the middle of the cross. This flag is like that because of the Spanish, or the Spanish had that cross for the longest time. It says great seal of the state of Florida and God we trust. And then in the center, it's just such a complicated, busy image. If they would have just put a more simple symbol in the center of this, or even left, if they left it, it would look too similar to Alabama. This flag could be really good. Uh, Ohio. This one was differently shaped. Yeah, I like this one. Like, I, I, like, the, I like it a little bit. Like, it's like the design is good. I might actually move to C2 later on. No, no, because... I don't agree with the shaping choice, and the stars are just so disorganized. Yeah, this, you know, I'm gonna move to C tier. Disagree. I'm gonna move to C tier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a call and say C tier. You dare defy me because for some reason I can't edit the document at the same time you can. Yes. Guys, this is a D tier. Don't listen to him. North Carolina's up next. Did you say that the North Carolina flag is as good as Ohio, if not better? Would you, or did you say that these flags are worse? North Carolina is simple, but it's ugly in its disproportionality. And writing 
it gives two dates n and a star and a c and then you've just got this big bar of blue i like its simplicity you could draw this from memory it's only got three color four it's got four it's got four come on oh georgia georgia's next georgia's next georgia still flying those colors i see mm, yes so much writing constitution wisdom justice moderation oh, in god you know we what? trust we're just gonna Go North Carolina. <laughs> yep. So Missouri's looks like Paraguay or something. The two bears in the middle, and they're holding a plaque which has like three elements and writing that's far too small to understand. There it is. I see the idea, Amazing. and again, this one could have been good if they simplified it. Impossible to see the symbolism. I don't really want to read the writing, although if you're gonna put writing, I don't know the symbolism. All Tennessee. Right. So Tennessee is one that's uh, just boring and uh, disproportional. Again, it's proportionality yeah. and placement. It's got that uh, border on the one side. Next and I is Connecticut, is. which is here. Connecticut. Which, not really interesting. It has some grapes. There's writing in it. Like that's really all it's bad. Like the writing's just the bad part. Everything else is like, a little too. Oh much my god! If they here, just but... got rid of that writing, this wouldn't be a bad flag. We're into the really boring ones because the other ones would be fun to like tear apart. Maryland. Maryland. The best one we've seen so far. But it's two flags slapped together, and I just can't get behind it. And I understand that what they were trying to accomplish by having two very important flags to them slapped together. But it like messes with my eyes this one it's combined an old dutch flag and an old uh swedish flag i think i don't want to like speculate on the origins because chances are we're wrong we're just judging it on the flag quality the symbolism i should be able to pick up on it without having read an entire book on mm -hmm. the state if someone did make an argument for it to be in b i wouldn't fight them on it i think it stays in c i think it stays in c but if someone said it belongs in b i wouldn't fight them I wouldn't be like, wouldn't that. I wouldn't them. fight them. That's Well, luckily, there's only the two of us here. Nobody can fight us. California. Uh, you know it's California because it says it. There's just, like a really well-drawn bear. If they just got rid of California Republic and then made the bear less detailed. He doesn't need to be or walking. Or if they just got on... rid of California Republic. They just got rid of California Republic. Bam, there it is. A tier. I don't think he needs to be walking on the grass. Wyoming. Such a good design. Seal of Wyoming. It doesn't even fit on there properly. It's such a beautiful flag. It's so uh, beautiful. And then they're like, someone. Bam. And they've just put it where it fits best on the buffalo, but it doesn't fit anywhere. It was a great flag, and they're just like, we're gonna, we need to break at least two rules with this flag, and they slap that we stupid need, thing. We need on to there. hurt the flag. Indiana's next. If it just had less stars, it could easily be an A. Or even like put some clean more this one up a little bit. You can I easily see being an A just a little less messy, and this one could have been better, but it is. And they wrote Indiana on it. Louisiana's next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has the pelican. If you just had the pelican and you just detailed the pelican a little less, or even just got rid of the writing, just let the pelican have been great. Get rid Fantastic. of the nest and the youngins, like and whatnot, mm -hmm. or keep the youngins and no nest necessarily. Adding two <laughs> specific details. Pelican just needs to be slightly less detailed on the feathers and whatnot, <laughs> and the baby pelicans Absolutely. needn't really be there. The nest and you definitely would easily doesn't. have an A tier flag. And the little so. banner, definitely Union Justice <laughs> Confidence. Get rid of that again. This one, Get rid this of that. one could God be fixed. Needs to be gone. Guam. So this one isn't a state, but we are gonna rank it. I like that boat, and I like that palm tree. If they got rid of Guam, it'd be a great flag. Mm -hmm. It is just the amount of design, like actual design, like put into it that I will accept saying, yeah, it's good still. I almost feel like there's a self-consciousness when design designing these flags. It seems like they were so obsessed with you knowing who they were when you look at it, but I'm like, that if you, you no did a good enough job, happened. we'd remember who you were instead of you having to write. Here's a fun one. Rhode Island. I oh, like weird. this flag, but not enough to put it in book because I know it's bad, but I like it, you know? It's an anchor, it's like from simple, it's got a couple flaws, I'm trying to pull it up, that's the issue, is because uh, it's bad... white, and it's white, it has a bunch of yellow Don't stars, Don't describe it to me, I'll find it. That's what ticked me off about it, yeah. hope, hope written in those letters. If you made the stars a different color, it has, it could be, it could have been entirely better, or even just 
change the white background to any other color. Change it to blue. I see one on r slash vexillology. That's really nice. Got rid of the writing, simplified the anchor design a little bit, and changed the background to blue, and it's beautiful. Like, the redesign on Reddit that I'm seeing is an S tier. It's too bright. It's too bright. Next is Samoa. American Samoa. I might reduce it to C tier. It's it's just an equilateral triangle. It's definitely not an equilateral triangle. No, sorry. I thought so. What useless information the types of triangles. I'm a literal math major, and I've not needed to know the names of the triangles in 10 years. Speaking of school, remember when the teacher would tell you, like, we're on the off-topic train? Because we're on it. Northern Mariana Islands. Ah. Uh, I remember you didn't like this one. I do. Quite a bit. The reason I jumped ahead of Will to announce which flag was on, because he cannot stop calling this the Northern Marinara Islands. The stars kind of slapped on there, and again, it looks sloppily drawn. And it is just a symbol on an open canvas, and it doesn't really provide anything. But we do have it ranked 15th, because it's it's acceptable. Oh, I think we might have skipped Massachusetts, because I don't think it would have made it up this far. No, it definitely did. We definitely skipped that and Virginia. We'll get to all of the ones that we don't have in our list at the end. Arizona, I like this one, but the color scheme just isn't quite right. <laughs> it isn't quite there. Like, if you're looking at my screen right now, the blue down there is good, the star is good, it blends too much in with the top of the sunrise. Alabama's next. Alabama's just simplicity. I remember this one. I, when you say Alabama, I'm like, yeah, okay, I remember what that flag is. Two colors, that's simple. That one you can fly and recognize it from a distance. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It is Puerto Rico next because, yeah. look at that. Yeah, it's, it, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice, it's got a nice it's chevron a little... with a star. Mm -hmm. Simple uh, red, white, chevron. red, white, red. This one keeps in mind the rules. Good symbolism, simple colors, simple enough to draw it from memory. No writing, no uh, seals. This one's just nice. Ethan. We're leaving B tier and we're entering A yeah. tier. Texas would be the next one. I think we should move that to B tier. I think the Texas one is a classic one. I think if you told somebody, if we were to guarantee that people would know a flag for sure. Okay, that would be Texas. It would be yeah. the Texas one. I don't think there's one, because I think a lot of the American flags are similar to this one. <laughs> this one's the OG original. It's simple. District of Columbia. This one's a really nice one. I really like this flag, particularly. Look at this flag. Look at that flag. Two lines, the flag. three stars across the top. Fantastic. I love it. Love that flag. It doesn't violate any rules. It gets it, it gets the job done. We're into ones that actually do make me happy. Colorado coming up. Colorado's a beautiful flag. Colorado's fantastic. Are we into S tier now or not quite? Uh, after this. Tier. No, we're at the line. We're at the A tier line. I like Colorado. I love it's that quite one. Good. It almost finds a way to sneak writing onto the flag without actually having right because it looks like a C. <laughs> but it's also beautiful symbolism as well. So the next flag we're doing actually in the survey that happened again in 2001, this one won as the best flag on the North American continent. Mm -hmm. We have it pretty close. We have a couple others that we like better, but New Mexico's coming up and this one's beautiful. It actually represents the sun and it has four lines coming out the middle, the bottom, the left, and the, uh, the east and the west. Super recognizable. Next on list, South Carolina. South Carolina is my personal favorite, it's although incredible. I don't think we have it ranked number one. Again, two colors, just a palm tree and a beautiful crescent moon. My only issue is there's a, just a touch of detailing on that palm tree. Get rid of it, just show the silhouette. The only thing I will say that I actually like the palm tree detailing, I don't like the bark detailing. If they got rid of the bark detailing. Yeah, maybe the bark like. detailing. But either way, the, the actual palm leaves I really like. And now, our number one. The number uh, actually, one. Actually, no, we'll, we'll, number, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that one for last. So how many did we skip? We skipped eight. First up, we're just gonna take New York State here. Um, Drop that into F tier, get out of here. Just throw that in the middle of F tier. There you are, it's bad. I don't know how we missed Kansas. I'm, I swear to God, this one has writing on it. I swear to God. It does. Kansas written and then a way too detailed scene trying to cram into that circle. Yeah. I think that's yeah, E tier or F tier as yeah. well, Kansas. There's a little thing. We're gonna put you right in F tier and just put you right next to Montana. Virginia. <laughs> the guy awful. who's just been murdered. 
Uh, we're just gonna put you in just over there, loosely. There you are. Loosely. Next, we have Hawaii. I kind of like it, but it's got that little B -tier. British emblem I'm gonna say on B -tier. it. B-tier. And a lot of people don't enjoy, like, just the British flag. Like, flag on flag. B-tier. B-tier. In Massachusetts, this one goes here. It's also an F-tier. There's, like, an arm with a sword it's... coming out the top for yeah. some reason. It's just... Actually, you know what? E. Just on the warrant so... of it just doesn't want to break the deadly sin of writing that we'll put it in E-tier. But E-tier is, like, F-tier, but we had sympathy for them for some reason. That's all E-tier is. We actually created it when we realized how full F-tier was getting. Next, we have this flag. I can't tell what it is. What state are we missing? The light blue one? Yeah. We'll reverse image search it. Minnesota. Ah, that's right. Minnesota's really bad. Minnesota, bad. Yeah. There you are. Minnesota, have chicks. fun. Like we're like we're like we're not even explaining to you if you can't see what's wrong with Minnesota. <laughs> <flag, laughs> We've yeah. explained enough why these flags are bad. Now we're going to Atoll, which is a solid C tier. C tier. Yeah. C tier. It's atoll. just a sunrise, but they they did it yeah. right. They did it. It's nice. nice. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah. There you go. B tier. I actually like that. I like that quite a bit. Sure. Where are we putting the United States of America flag? Because it's definitely not beating our one number one, which some people might even see which one's going to be number one. Gonna the be. United <laughs> States of America flag. You can't question how iconic it is, but I kind of see it as a bit of a mess. So I'd say C tier. It's C. It's C tier. <laughs> 50 states and 13 colonies. I get it, but... At the end of the day, you put 13 stripes and 50 stars on a flag, it's a bit cluttered. C tier flag. Sorry, all of America. It's a C tier flag. And number one Alaska. That's uh, Alaska. It's so simple, but it's so beautiful. There's the Big Dipper and then Polaris. And it's a nice background. It's connected. It's just great. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Polaris <laughs> because it's the north. It's just simple enough and so, it's so recognizable the only thing that i will say is that yes it can be a little difficult to draw from like perfect memory but like it's good i can think of so many ways that they could have ruined this like they could have just labeled polaris there and or wrote the big dipper in latin or just slapped alaska across the back or put this constellation within a circle and all these things but they know they were they didn't do it there you go there you go guys uh, 50 state flags plus the back of, of Oregon and then six uh, territories and the District of Columbia. And the American flag itself. And the American flag itself, so 58 flags in total. <laughs> Ranked. That took a long time. We will... That really did. That took a while. We will rank... Oh boy. We will rank the Canadian ones probably and we might even go over flags of the world. Mm -hmm. We're considering. This is our first attempt at doing this live video kind of thing, and I agree, it's kind of a disaster, but I hope you at least liked our rankings. And if you had no idea about like what makes a good flag, maybe you learn a little bit of something about that. Of course, we're not experts at all on this. We're just guys who like flags and like flag principles. Anyway, have a nice day. Cheers.